Hey, what's up, you guys? Jack Jack here. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to emote to switch your loadout, switch your weapons in your inventory. I had a handful of people that asked for this tutorial, so here it is. Before we get started, make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you guys enjoy this type of content, enjoy this type of detailed Fortnite creative tutorial content. That that's that's a lot of words. Subscribe if you are new and are interested in watching other content from me. And let's get right into it. All right, so I do know there's a handful of ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you guys how. I would do it. All right, so first, devices go to mutator. You can place this mutator wherever you want. Wherever you place the mutator, that is the location where you can actually emote in order to switch your loadout, switch your weapons. So a example would be like putting it in a box or something like this. But if you want it like around your whole map, so wherever you emote, you do switch your loadout. You can go ahead and just place your mutator in your the middle of your map and then go into the settings. Allow weapon fire, turn this to yes. Zone width 100, zone depth 100, zone height 100, enable VFX, turn that to no, this is my suggestion. On player starts, emoting transmit on, I have it set to channel 85, which I hope I haven't used on my map, but you're going to have to have this channel set to a channel you haven't used yet on your map, map you're working on. So the idea is my mutator is the max size it could possibly be. So it's actually engulfing my whole map. So wherever I am on my map, I can emote so I can switch my loadout. Now, if you don't want that option, you can go ahead and, you know, obviously switch the size back to one so that you can only emote in this square. I'll stick with this cube square just to show you guys how it works. Next, we're gonna go in devices again. We're gonna get the class selector. With the class selector, you kind of want to place this away from your map. You know, I have an option. I can actually go underneath my platform, underneath my arena, and then I can just place the class selector down here. If you don't have that option, go ahead and, you know, just go away from your map and place it on the outside. So in the class selector settings, class to switch to, have this at the two. Time the switch, have this on instant. Clear items on switch, set this to all items, very important color i have this set the sky blue so i can be organized enable one received from have this set the channel 87 make sure this channel hasn't been used by anything else on your map same thing with all the other channels make sure that all the channels are haven't been used for your map yet disable one received from 86 change player to class when received from 85 same thing as our mutator up top our mutator setting is also channel 85 one class switched transmit on have the set to channel 86. All right, so after that, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna make another class selector, so copy that. Class to switch to, instead of two, you wanna set the three. Color, you can have this set to another color. I have it set to red orange. Very important, enable during phase, have this set to none, so it's disabled when the game starts. Enable when received from, have it set to channel 86. Disable when received from, have this set to 87. And a final option, one class switch, transmit on, have this set to channel 87. Next two devices, we're gonna go and find the class designer. Go ahead and place the class designer. Go into the options, class identifier. We're gonna set this to two. Next, copy that class designer, place it. Go into the options, class to identifier, set this to three. We have a class designer and a class selector. In Fortnite Creative, there's 16 teams in total, but also there are classes, and the amount of classes that we have is what, 16? Yep, 16. So briefly, classes are simply like a identifier. If you've ever played like Call of Duty or something, there's, there's the different classes, different like loadouts. This is how you set up loadouts for Fortnite Creative. So the class selector device is how we get someone into like a specific class. So we have class two here, then we have class three. Then the class designer is how you customize that class. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna go to consumables and weapons. So you can decide what you want for your first customized class. I'll keep it really simple and I'll stick with purple weapons. Go ahead and drop, oh shoot. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is grab this class designer, move it out of the way so you don't you know, mix it up with the other one. And then we can drop our items into this class designer. So same thing with the other class designer, go ahead and go to your weapons and consumables, decide whatever weapons and consumables you want for this class. And then I'm just gonna drop it into this class designer. All right, so once you're done, it should look something like this. 
All right, so from there, we're also gonna need a default class for every player in your game mode. So go to my island, default class identifier. On default, it's set to none. You want this set to one. We're gonna go ahead and test it out. Very important, if you do wanna test it out for yourself, if you have a specific spot where you wanna be, for example, in here, you might wanna enable the actual zone so you can see it. And how to do that, just set zone visible during game on the meter, set it to yes. We have a mutator that's on this block here that's invisible and obviously that's an option if you're inside you can emote and once you emote your weapons should pop up in your inventory i have nothing in my inventory right now so when i emote bang uh, if i emote again bang now here's another mutator design or mutator example and here same thing Anyone that's in that mutator can emote and switch their weapons. What I'll do is I'll actually enlarge this first mutator and, uh, you know, have it so it engulfs the whole map. So anywhere I am on my map, I can actually emote to switch my loadout. Alright, you're fighting someone. And then you emote, bang, switch your weapons. Oh, I don't like my loadout. Let me switch again. Oh, ho ho. Alright, you guys, so that is pretty much it. If you do want to add more weapons, obviously you're going to have to copy the class designers and then bring it over and then go into the options and then change class identifier then go to the class selector and also change this to the appropriate class number and another thing that is a little bit more complicated if you don't understand it already you're gonna have to change these options here so that it actually disables its previous class selector so that another class selector can be activated but again you know that's that's pretty complicated some people might not understand it so i suggest you sticking with only two if you do want to add more then uh, you're just gonna have to understand what those changes Channels do but yeah you guys i just want to keep it really simple i gave two possible loadouts you can switch to by emoting in your maps your fortnite creative maps you guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like on this video let's see if we can get to 100 likes on this video subscribe if you guys are new use code jack jack hd in the item shop if you do want to support me greatly appreciate you guys good luck with your map you guys i'll see you guys next time take it easy guys peace